Kami ang mga salamat ng Lord sa kami doon na ang day kami ang uh, bahay sa iyo ang uh, pinag-ibigay sa iyo ang gilaan ko namin na sa mga pukin tapos po papag-focus kami sa salita mo sa pag-aaral namin yan at 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 sa pag-aaral namin yan Beramin sa Amesis. Amen. Ang tapo po natin yun ay lecture 18 na po ang laman din sa church at kung sisimula po talaga sa sacraments. Tapos na tayo sa sa RPW na si Park. Ngayon po ay sa sacraments na tayo at tinita natin kung ano ba ang dapat kami sinusunod na ang sacrament o as against na sa Uh, traditional na uh, Roman Catholic view at iba pang mga view at uh, simulan po natin sa preliminary. Many evangelicals do not understand or entirely disregard the place for sacramental ordinances. Some consider to be recalls that are inconsistent with New Testament spirituality, counted as unnecessary by an extreme faith-only emphasis, and categorized as too minor to be by the Christian community. So, maraming mga churches, mission churches, professing Christians, na uh, hindi talaga nila naintindihan ng bigat at ano ba dapat ang ginagawa sa kalangan ito. At uh, ano ba dapat ay tuunan ng pansit o baliwalain. Uh, kaya ang punto po, uh, ang mga sacraments are mandates of Christ, the head of the church. They are not inherited practice, practices from a particular ecclesiastical tradition. Ang mga sakramento po ay mandato na binigyan ng Christ Jesus bilang ulo ng iglesia. Hindi ito tradisyon na binalalang natin sa dati na ng pagkakaya kasi dati na sa akin na talo may mga pisin ay breaking of the bread. Kaya gagawin lang natin ito. Kaya po, we have to consider these things in general considerations. Number one is the terminology. Sacraments or ordinances in our LBCF. Uh, 69 and uh, uh, Western uh, Conference Finals. <laughs> Westminster Confession. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, let me get it. Uh, from sacraments to ordinances. So this is possibly an attempt to distance from a Roman Catholic and high church sacramentalism. Para hindi mas identify yung uh, reform uh, the, the faith as uh, Roman Catholic ay eh, ginamit yung term na ordinances instead na sacraments. But ordinances as such can cover a wide range of church activities. So in the origin, original translation of the Latin Vulgate, Pagrit and Greek, the posterior or sacramentum, uh, meaning is a thing set apart as sacred or a military oath of obedience as administered by the commander. So, yung original uh, usage niya, yung meaning, is sagrato o set apart. Pangalawa, ito ay isang bagay na uh, pinaniniwalaan na simpaan uh, in the military tradition at ginagawa ng mga talapang nyo sa mga mga sandalo. So, the process of categorization, the proclamation of the gospel brings believers into fellowship with the mystery of the kingdom, the mysterion. The science of the population came to be connected to the fellowship of the mystery. The science themselves came to be called sacramenta. So, yung mga science, initial science, baptism, the maintaining science, yung breaking of the bread. So, by definition, uh, in Westminster Larger Catechism, question 162, what is a sacrament? Answer. A sacrament is a holy ordinance instituted by Christ in this in His Church to signify, seal, and exhibit unto those that are within the covenant of grace the benefits of His mediation to strengthen and increase their faith and other graces to oblige them to obedience, to testify and cherish their love and communion with one another and to distinguish them from those that are without. So, in Westminster Larger Catechism. Sa katakismo ito, pinakita yung difference ng mga uh, mananampalataya na kasama sa iglesia at yung mga pinaperform na sacraments ay pagpapakita na sila yung membro 
At ang simple nito ay pagpapatibay sa kanilang palataya and so on and so forth. So, sign and seal, signos, no? at selyo, taken from the idea of circumcision. Diba, ang sign of the covenant, uh, the Abrahamic covenant, is yung mag-circumcise, yung mga uh, parte ng covenant. Uh, so, that's an outward sign, a physical sign. External signs, spiritual reality, signify in connection with the covenant of grace. So, how many sacraments? Ganoon maraming sacramento, no? Sa Roman Catholic position, they have seven sacraments. And they believe, if you complete this, you are saved. It does not. Una, baptism. The one of ties is cleansed from original sin as infant of particular sin as a rational person. So, pag baby, pinapis mo ang ba, ikaw ay nilisa sa iyong mga kasalanan, at yung particular sin naman, kapag ikaw ay may pisan nila kami isip. Pangalawa, confirmation. At least to children before their first communion. Ikaw doon na lang nasa. Sige na kapag first communion na. So, merong confirmation doon na, no? Ano may tanong ba yun? Anong tanong? Ako sa ato yun. Ah, okay. Diyan pa ba? Okay. Pero kung yun So, walang pa, hindi ko yung tanong na may yung renounce it, ha? Hindi ko. Sa pag-disip niya, tama. Tama yung memory. Next, O Eucharist. Not this, but true sacrifice of Christ as He is presented in the form of bread and wine. Yun yung breaking of the bread, yung Holy Eucharist, na sinatawag nila. Penance. Popularly called confession in which the church to the priesthood grants forgiveness. It is a campaign, no? Upisa, no? Uh, may nakapag-upisa na ba dito sa pare? Meron naman? How was the experience? <laughs> Parang required? Well, it's a good question. Sure. It is good. Okay, it's a lot. Good man. Next. Um, anointing of the sick, extreme unction, a whisper to the dying that extended for need of strength. Yung palapit ng mabatay, yung po? Yes. Holy orders, ordination into church ministry, diakonate, priesthood, and episcopate, the Nayong office. And number seven, matrimonio, yung kasal, a ritual once together spouses and marriage vows. Some of these additions can be traced to historic recognition that the of Christ is institutional. institutional. Confirmation was given sacramental status by Peter Lombard in the 12th century, at Aquinas in the 13th. Patrimony was officially recognized in the 4th Lateran Council in 1215. All seven were defined and defended in the Council of Trent in 1545 and 1563. The textual support for the additions are either non-existent or very weak. So, kung tinitin natin yung Roman Catholic position, may addition, hindi siya pinitibay ng salita ng Diyos, uh, hindi rin mag-defend ng maayos at uh, highly debatable yung mga position nila. Now, in the formation or the biblical position, hindi ako may nun, nakalagay talaga doon, biblical. Pero tayo, the biblical yung position natin bilang form. Baptism and the Lord's Supper. Yung dalawang yun ay ang sakramento o ordinasa na pinagtatanggungin ka ng anglesya. <laughs> they are directly instituted by Christ as head of the church and they are fair signs of the gospel. Number three, they are perpetual institution of the church on earth. As mentioned in the confession of faith, the 38th uh, chapter. Baptism and the Lord's Supper are ordinances of positive and sovereign institution appointed by the Lord Jesus, the only law given to be completed in His Church to the end of the world. So, makita natin na dalawa na lang yung dinansa o sakramento na tinatag ng Panginoon sa Christo sa kanyang Iglesia. All the rest, all of the additions ng Roman Catholic Church are only based on tradition na ginawa nila na somehow meron silang pinabasihan na mga weak text uh, sa scriptures pero hindi itong malinaw na binanggit ng Panginoong Kristo. 
So as a hierarchy, how are word and sacraments related? The Roman Catholic position says it holds the equal partnership of word and sacraments, but said in practice to elevate the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, or the sacraments of sacraments. That's how they call the Eucharist, the breaking of the bread. The, this makes the sacraments complete means of salvation in and of themselves. A paraan kalitasan ay yung pag-take uh, ng body allegedly in Christ at yung flood of So, in that idea, hakapansin ninyo, pag tayo na yung person, nag-administer pa sila ng communion. Kahit nakikala. E di ba ang ating administration ng communion is together as a church. Amen? Hindi yung mamamatay na. Kung isa lang siya, may nag-gali pa. So, pinag- uh, para maligtas. The administration of the sacraments is independent of the proclaimed word. Nakahiwala ito. Hindi ito nakaasa sa preaching of the word. Kaya sabi ko sa Roman Catholic Confession, sacraments are powers that come forth by the body of Christ, which is ever-living and very life-giving. They are actions of the Holy Spirit that work in His body in the Church. They are the master works of God in the new and everlasting covenant. So, na ilagay yung sacramento about the Word of God. Tandaan natin, faith comes from hearing and hearing the Word of God, not taking sacraments, not taking the bread and the wine. Now, in the Reformation position, priority of the written and claimed Word, sacraments are visible and secondary. The Word. Similarity sa, sa pangpagin yun, they both come from the same author, with Christ, as a essential content to be received by faith. But the priority, the written word has the priority over the sacraments. Ang salita ng Diyos pa rin. So the word is indispensable to the sacraments and not vice versa. Ibalit na hindi ka makapag um, breaking of the bread, basta na dyan ang salita ng Diyos. Okay? Hindi naman natin sasadya ay mga wala ang blanket of the bread. Sa madali salita, prominent pa rin ang salita ng Diyos. In this term, sa mga siya. The sacraments are dependent upon the word, if not Christ's clear son. Kaya nga, when we administer the sacraments, it is written. Ginabasa ni pastor. Nakikita natin, kung paano ginawa ng mga forefathers natin, yun ang yung ginagawa sa procedure at sa uh, pag-administer ng sacraments. Now, uh, John Calvin in his institute says, you see how the sacrament requires preaching to beget faith, and we need not lay word to prove this, but it is perfectly clear that Christ, what Christ did, what he commanded us to do, that what the apostles followed and what the pure church observed. Indeed, it was not even from the beginning of the world that whenever God gave a sign to the holy patriarchs, it was inseparably linked to doctrine, without which our senses would have been stunned in looking at the bare sign. Accordingly, when we hear the sacramental word mentioned, let us understand the promise, proclaim in a clear voice of the Bible minister, to lead the people by the hand whenever the sign tends and may wreck us. So let's put, this, let's put it this way. If a pastor, a priest, or whoever, no, for that matter, would administer the sacrament of ano, uh, baptism or uh, bringing of the bread, if it's fully the action without the uh, content of the word, hindi na i-preach, ano si may pegang stone? Wala! Kasi naliligo ka naman araw-araw. Tama! Kung meron ang bato to, may sasubverge ka. Di ba? Eh, kung mamakaya ka naman talaga ng pinapay at nagbomain ka, ano si Bino? Ano yung Bill Friends? Unless you understand from the message of God na yung nagbibigay ng faith na di pa hindi sa atin, kung ano ba yung sinasabi talaga nitong mga elementong ito? Without which, wala yung si Bill. Kaya nga si Christ, sinabi pa lang niya, if he was preaching to the multitude, thousands of people, he said, if you don't eat my bread and you don't drink my blood, you don't have any part of me. Hindi nila bakit soon. Kuba? Hindi nila ba yung hindihan? Pero yung mga disipulo, ano? Ano mangyari? Na-experience nila, pasin doon sa message. 
So the come the come uh, into full understanding you 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 work with God through the experience of the actual bread and wine. Pero kahit wala yun, may paliwanag lang ni Kristo sa mga disipulo niya. Anong sabi ni Pedro? Anong siya tinanong? Kaya hindi may tatalikot sa akin, sabi ni Pedro, Lord, to whom shall we go? If you are the words of eternal life. Ibig sabihin, hindi man full pa yung understanding nila, nandun yung preaching in the Holy Spirit na paliwanag ng, 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 ng Diyos Kay Kristo Yesus, nung sinabi niya, if you don't eat my bread, and, uh, I eat my flesh and drink my blood, the gets me from the Pedro. Sa kanya pupunta, nasa iyo ang salita ng buhay. Hindi niya sinabi, nasa iyo ang pinapay ng buhay. Kasi sinabi niya, and you are the words of eternal life. <laughs> so, Efficacy. How do the sacraments take effect? The Roman Catholic position is ex opere operato by outward acts. They can take effect in Camilla ordinances outward. They are necessary means of salvation and they effectually communicate the grace of salvation. In their belief, it is said that the church affirms that for believers, the sacraments of the new covenant are necessary for salvation. Not by work, so that no one can boast, pero sila, they believe that it is necessary for salvation. The fruit of sacrament. The fruit of sacramental life is that the spirit of adoption makes the faithful partakers in the divine nature by uniting them in a living union with the only Son, the Savior. The sacraments are efficacious, signs of grace. Instituted by Christ and entrusted to the church, by which divine life is spent to us, dispensed to us. The visible rites by which the sacraments are celebrated signify and make present the graces proper to each sacrament. They bear fruit, and those who receive them with the required dispositions. So, madaling salita, you have to do it. Kailangan mo ang gawin para masami ang gawin ni Tas. Eh, nakakahiya na kung sumunod na na ako na nakapakos ang Christ ng Balbaryo. Ang sabi ni Christ Jesus, ngayon pa lamang, <laughs> kita kita sa paraiso. Kung kinag-partake yun ng communion, sa matang ang lapit ng dugo ni Christ, ang kanyang kato, ang gula lang kaya, walang tinun. No? But he believed in the finished work of Christ. Anong parang kaya siya dun? So, um, Speaking of uh, Manarang Palataya, the Reformation position, not in and of themselves. Hindi sa ba maghita ng sakramento kung bakit tayo naliligtas. Now, the Holy Spirit make them efficacious. Sabi ni Calvin, the two things, the things are quite in harmony. Although Christ is distant from us in respect of place, He is yet present by the boundless energy of His Spirit, and that His flesh can give as life through the Holy Spirit. It is by grace and mercy through faith. It is a gift, not by work so that no one can boast. And how can we work if the Holy Spirit is not enabling us? How can we believe? How can we um, uh, receive? Kung wala yung barangay spirit na nasa atin. So, they are made meaningful through the preached word. Nagkakaroon naman ito ng kahalagahan o ng Um, what do you mean first Tagalog? Kahulugan. No? Kapag ka ito yung naidaan sa paghahagyat ng salita ng Diyos. Kahit ilang tunilad ng alam inumin mo at ilang bultong tinapay ang kainin mo, kung hindi mo na itindihan ang ibang medyo, palang panigtasan. Okay? Sabi ni Ed, uh, they are spiritual means of grace when received by faith. Means of grace in sacraments, whether baptism or the breaking of the bread, means of grace. Para ito nangyayari, kung iinom lang naman ako, kung makain lang naman ako, nalugdug lang naman ako sa kundin, saan ako si Christ na saan? To the unbeliever, it has no effect. Well, if you can see. But to the believer, the Holy Spirit works through the preaching of the Word. Bakit? 
i iintindihan ng intellectual mind and then pinoprocess ito sa puso, isipan, sa iyong kaluluwa at sa iyong emosyon at di kayo nag-participate. Nabaptize pa kayo noong January? Kinabaptize yung January? Kahapon, sinishare ko. Ay, ito kami sinishare ko sa mga ko paano ako nabaptize. I think I'll not try. Tapit. Kasi di hindi ako. Eh, saan po sa kanya? Ilang beses tayo pinaptize? Nagusap kami ng kuya ko. Ilang beses tayo pinaptize? Nung namin tayo sa Grand Island Church. Sabi ni kuya, eh, ang tanong na may swimming. Ano nangyari? Ba't walang effect? Kasi wala ang understanding ng way of God. But when I understood, kaya nung pinanawa ko ni Swimming, Pastor uh, Ernie, sabi, naniniwala ka ba ng kaway ng kasalanan at si Kristo'y namatay para sa lahat. Para naman yung tanong si Kristo na nipay. Pero medyo nalito na ako kasi sa dami kong pinahinggan na mga sinasara, pinapakinggan na mga sinasara sa inyo. But to that effect, do you believe in the finished work of Christ? All you can say is, yes! Ang response ay pinatawat ka ng Diyos. Grabe! Ngayon, kapag tayo nagpa-participate sa Our Lord is stable. Bakit ka may confidence na mag-participate? Because we believe. Nanang palataya kasi ginawa ni Cristo. Hindi dahil dahil ng efekto kasi ako eh. Hindi yun eh. Pero dahil nila mong lipas na ng Panginoon. So, Edward Clowney uh, said in the book, uh, The Church, A sacrament is not just something in nature created in order to be a sign of grace. A sacrament is a sign of participation in grace. Hindi lamang sa Um, signos o paratandaan ng biyaya. But it is a participation. Kaya nga may physical participation ng immersion sa water at may eating and drinking. That's a very physical manifestation or experience. Now, it marks not simply the presence and the work of God, but His application of salvation to sinners. God's Word declares His saving grace. He has appointed particular signs to mark and accompany that saving word. Kaya nga hindi natin pinapayagan to participate yung unbeliever. Bakit? Kasi katibaya nyo na ikaw hindi ligtas. Kung hindi ka ligtas, ba't ka magpapartake ng tenets? Kung hindi ka naman na nagpalataya ka sa Kristo, ba't ka mapapis yung mga? Diba? Kaya nga hindi, hindi natin pinapagtayas. Because we can't confirm. Wala silang profession pa. Now, they are confirmatory signs and seals to an already existing faith. Now, na yung pananampalataya, bago yung confirmation o bago yung mga signos. They are visible aids that accompany to the natural witness of our spirituality. Kung paano yung katawan natin ay mahila, spiritually natin ay nakinahan, at para mas may tindahan natin, may encapsulate sa mind natin, gano'ng kahalaga yung habag, dahil yung ilitas ka ng Panginoon, gano'ng kahalaga yung kamatayan, yung pagdalibig at kulit mo kaboy ni Cristo, yung peace to you sa akin. Now, the continuing sign, which is the Lord's table, is something that will remind us whenever we never participate. Kaya napakahalaga what we should participate in the sacraments. Sabi ni John Calvin, God gives no form by invisible signs than by His Word, but gives in a different manner. Thus, our weakness stands in need of a bright variety of helps. It expresses with greater significance and elegance. What, said simply and without figure, would have less force and address. Such things win attention by their propriety and arouse the mind by their luster and by their lively similitude so represent that what is said that it enters more effectively into the heart. Ano yung sinabi niya ang talagay? Ang haba ay nangis pa, no? Sa magaling salita, ang sinasabi niya lang, kailangan mo ma-experience yung naiintindihan mo by mind para buo yung pagkaintindi mo in the physical and the spiritual ay naiintindihan mo na-experience. Yung immersion, hindi yung pag-isipan, yung nag-immerse ka sa pagkaintindi mo sa kaligtasan mo. Kaya nga, di ba, kapag may first discipline, naranagasa natin yung ilimit, hindi tayo kailan sa part of it. Bakit? To remind us also. Kaya pa hindi tayo sa ating pahalagahan ng Lord's Supper. And by that, it's also a grace of God. Biyaya ng Diyos na may pakatayang sa tayo ay minindipan. Bakit? Para mas lalo natin maintindihan. Kinaintindi sa akin. 
kung ano ang ginawa ni Kristo sa Christ of Abraham. So as a pastor of point, we must avoid two movements in the use of sacraments. Number one, sacramentalism. That the sacraments take effect without regard to the faith of the recipient. The priestly administrator becomes the only important validation. This fosters superstition and false security. Kung madaling salita, ay nagpartisipate ka, all good. Well, kung sino man ang nagpartake o kung sino man ang nag-administer, nasa kanila yung uh, validation. Hindi. Sabi po dito, the elements are not transformed into anything but point to the gospel of which they are assigned. So the priest in the Roman Catholic Church believes na sa kanya yung kapangyarihan na mag-administer. At kapag nag-administer na niya nito, the bread and the wine becomes literally the, the body and the blood of Christ. At nandun yung kapangyarihan, hindi. Hindi doon. It is in the word. Ang nangyari, may false security. Tsaka, uh, kasi nag-participate ako, ha? kasi hindi ganun. <laughs> so, pangalawa, anti-ritualism. That the sacraments have no essential basis of New Testament free spirituality. In the extreme point of the sacramentalism na kailangan itong gawin para mag-baligtas ka or whatever, yung anti-ritualism uh, naman, eh, nag-ahulugan na hindi naman kailangan. Hindi naman essential. Paano natin napapatunayan ng mahalaga ito? At alam niyo, No offense sa mga, ano, mga once a month lang na nag-corporatist, nag-corporatist ng mga stable. No? Wala naman kung yan. Wala naman kung sinabi na, oh, hindi, hindi lesser yung effect pag once a month lang o oh, hindi kaya. Pero if you believe the, uh, the weight in regard ng uh, participation sa mga stable, kaya eh, kung yung nag-pili ko ng lesya sa panambahan, hindi ba mas maganda na kung ang Panginoon sa Christo ay nandiyo sa first panigit nila, eh, kumain sa habang ni Christo. Mag-participate. Sabi ni Clown, the sacraments are reminders of the historical reality of Christ's redemption. They embody concretely the reality of our faith. They are signs, but not mere signs. They are signs given the force of God's own promise So that our participation in them is not exercised in fantasy nor in transformation of consciousness. The sacraments cert- certify reality for us by the assurance of God's own word. Our participation differs from the awareness of God's presence that we might have in smelling a rose or viewing a sun- sunrise. By faith, the sacraments present to our senses the touch of the unseen The foretaste of heaven's peace with the Lord. Pinapaliwanag sa akin ni Pastor Joseph. Mm-hmm. Habang in-explain niya sa akin na yung pinapay at yung alam ay pagpapakitin ng Diyos sa realidad ng yung kalikasan. Pinikwento niyo parang sa akin, parang nalalasahan ko na eh. Alam ka na yung sinabi sa'yo, marami sa akin yung tao na akin. Yung gen, nakapalis ako yan. Nakatiin na ba kayo noon? Yung talagang may octopus. May tentacles, tapos may cheese na dinurog, tapos lalo na saan nga kayong panitiba. Kapag sinabi mo, grabe, pagkagat ko dun sa kamyas, naluha ako sa as, mga nasin na ako eh. Alam niya, our, our bodies, our mind works that way. Meron tayong ganun senses na pinili sa pagkakrait sa atin ng Panginoon. At maraming din lamang na sa pag-administer ng ang sacraments na ito as a sign of our and at the uh, sign ng ating kalintasan, no, yung tangible, eh, makalasin talaga natin. Ganun ito, buti ang Panginoon. Hindi lang yung haritas na ako. Eh, bakit ang mga uh, charismatic Pentecostal, they're so big in emotionalism. Bakit? Bunan na silang maasay. Bakit na, no? We are enough. We, I mean, we are uh, talun, um, satisfied or uh, ano sa prayer? Hindi mo isang mga satisfaction na alam. Uh, content. Content na tayo sa salita ng Diyos na sinabi, ito ay simbolo ng aking katawan at ang presensya ko yung nari yan. At nakain mo ang ikman mo. As compared sa hindi ka nag-party, randa mo rin. Kung hindi ka nag-party, alam mo, parang ako mo, parang randa mo talaga. 
Kung tayo party ka, alam mo na nararamdaman ko rin. Meron dito sa kapigal. So as I end my discussion today, um, may paalala sa akin. Mamiya, may pa-participate tayo ulit sa pag-umbinan. Paalala natin ito. Hindi natin ang pag-aalit ng pag-salaman sa Panginoon. Nakakakuli. Diba? May mga kapagilan tayo, hindi makakakuli niyo. Either kasi hindi pa sila member ng church, or under discipline. Pero sa totoo lang, it's only by grace na bahay ngayon ang kapagilan. Kung hindi yan para sa hindi we are better than whoever na hindi ang kapagilan. So, hindi pa yung grace of God. Kaya nga na pag-aalit ng hapag, huwag natin pag-aalit ng ating isa. It's Friday. And it's the thing for the God. Ah, uh, tapos tawag sa ating question and answer na Sina ba? Sina ba? Tama na has pa. Wala na. Tama na. Tama na. Sorry. Tama. Tama. Tama pa. Ah, wala pa sila. Okay. Tama na sila. Hay questions. Questions. Okay, may ayaw. Okay. Tapos na. Insights, questions or insights. Okay. Siyempre, ayaw ang pagkakas. Paano na? Covenant Day kaya kaya? Covenant Rulers. Kasyas? Alam niyo, kami na naapit ko yung buna. Baka siya kumain dahil ako maskin ako. Hindi ka na lang na amin ko pa lang na natakaw na ako eh. Ganun siguro yung pakiramdam, di ba? Na maramdaman mo, panikman mo, yung pagkikitas ng Pano. Okay? So yung mga covenant breakers, <laughs> also known as, ano tawag sa ganun? Apostate. So yan mga covenant breakers na yan, they're not part of the covenant in the first place. Yung mga apostate na nag-participate, kaya hindi naman talaga sila nagbibig sa Panginoon, natikman lang rin na. Nakatikin lang. Pero hindi yung realidad na kaligtasan, wala sa Panginoon. That's sad. Uh, Pachas? Insights? Outsights? Pas, ano yung sa batidyo? Batidyo. Ano eh? Ano yung mga 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 Right, one page for the nation of books. Ah, anong yun siya? Oh, nandiyan ang name niya na pinaroon niya sa kanasawa. Pero hindi ko talaga yung tatanong. Ah, anong tamang... <laughs> anong tamang age yung rapat ni-baptize? So, wala namang age na unless talaga sobrang bata na pero pag siya natin, hindi siya pwede siyang mag-age na 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 pero pag siya natin, yung meron siyang um, volition, pero siyang pag-design sa sarili, yung intellectual capacity na siya, to believe and confess his needs. So, alam mo yun. Good lang. Uh, pwede kasi, as early as seven years old, nakaka-confess naka- na ng faith niya eh. Nala ng karataya niya eh. Yung mga ganong kapata. So, hindi natin uh, may natahan sa age per se, so, hindi ko sa kapasit ng tao. May hindi ko yun. Para? Pero ang kung ano naman, nasa supervise ko naman siya, uh, nasa under naman siya ng aking pagtutubo. Kaya anak ko eh. Diba? So, I'll make sure kung na, siguro doon mo talaga. Well, kasi ka, kasama mo naman siya. Diba? Hindi ko naman sa pindahan mo yung baptism, pero ayaw ko naman ang pagpapain ba yung Unless talaga nakakita ko na nakita. Ako naman siya, ako naman may interview. Kung paano may interview ang mga members, may interview din yan. Tanongin din siya ang mga members. Ako, oh, seven, how do you believe in Christ? Kung so, sabi niya, ako, ano po lang, hindi. Diba? Yes? Okay. 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 
kasan. Good luck po. Parang uh, variation na po natin. Kotse pa, ano po, ang um, adult, pero may special needs. Or, needs. Um, or, uh, let's say, so kung meron akong kakilala na youth in depth siya, so we need help. Okay, and that's so, hindi kailangan yung communication, kasi ako, let's say, let's say, ano po siya, um, um, regular attendee siya, pero hindi siya makapag-profess, or hindi talaga malinaw. Possible po ba na, hindi talaga, oh, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng trends na baptized for things, yung communication difficult, kung, um, it's a church. Hindi dyan sa church yun, to provide the needs, the special needs of the person. Ah, uh, kasi, hindi naman na, uh, I mean, wala na tayo sa makalumang panahot na walang paraan to communicate kung yung sa may special needs. So, yung pangyari, yeah, kung dito siya, at meron, kaya kami, kaya sa sign language, di ba? May ganun. So, kung sinabi niya, he'll say, kaya sa sign language, alam mo na. <laughs> so, so, may mga clear ways to make sure in a professional. Dapat, kay church, yun yun yun, doon sa pag-address, no? Ah, uh, paano yung mga bilang uh, yung deaf, paano yung as in may intellectual incapacity, like may Down syndrome, or ano ito man, ah, uh, papano sila, hindi ba natin isusumbukan na ipaliwala ng gospel sa kanila? Kung paano natin yung pinigilitay or merong napakatigis na kung doon na bakit bahay natin at tingin natin yung kampo ni Zagalas, pinag-pray mo, pero nag-chinesyalan mo ng gospel, ano ba kaya yung tao na bawa, part ng family or part na ng church na nakikita natin na may gano'ng uh, intellectual capacity pag hindi kautyagaan. Diba? So I believe, I believe na as long as na co-communicate sa tao yung message sa paraan na kaya niya itong pansin, kumikilo sa Panginoon. Maaring kamatayan na lang niya na hindi niya ma-express yung faith niya the way he expressed as one of the pero ang Diyos ang nakakala niyo naman yung siya. Pero kung kaya na niya express yung profession ng faith niya, magbukay siya ng may kapalalan, nakita natin na babago. Kasi may private rin sila eh. Alam natin yun eh. Nakita natin yung kiki sa buhay niyo. Ito na napakaganda na yun. Alright? Other questions? Yes. Okay. What's your question? Ha? Ayun. 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 May, meron pa yung topic sa Bautism sa Kasal. Kapag sa Kasal sa Kasal. Okay. At na-share na ito ni Pastor. Hindi ko Chester yung kano, no? Siguro, Lord Skateful. Hi! Na-share na lang. So, questions? Questions? Wala? Okay, play tayo. Our religious fathers, Lama Singh and Sagita, na pinuturuan kami paano namin i-review yung sacraments. Sa lapang ito sa inyong bilayan, habang pinanaramas namin ito bilang mga miyembro ng iglesia. Dalangan ko namin na ipagpipagan namin ito, naglaan akong baliwalain at purpose sa ito ay gawin namin na may pagdala at pagpipitagan sa inyo. Sa lapang ito sa inyong bilayan, habang sa patinggalan ang pag-aaral ng hapon ito, ang mabang kalakasan, at kalinuhan at pagbabay at pagkakaroon sa inyong mahala. So, ang dalangin sa pangalan si Miss Payne na may mag-aroon niya. Payne? Ano ba? So, ito ba? Ating kung saan sa inyong mga ito?